Hi, I'm Jennifer. Namaste. I wanted to talk a little bit about vinyasa, the practice of vinyasa in yoga and how to bring that uh, into everyday life as just a practical life practice and skill. So vinyasa means flow and in the yoga practice it's the movement of the body with the breath and the classical classic vinyasa sequence is the sun salutations. So I won't be doing those today but I will talk about vinyasa, show you a little bit what that is like. So breathing in we bring the arms up, breathe out we bring the arms down. Breathing in, arms out to the side. Breathing out, arms back down. So we're moving with the breath, which requires concentration. It cultivates concentration and awareness. We can really sort of go inside and feel what's happening and what am I actually doing and how does it feel? So in a yoga practice, if we were doing a posture like triangle pose, which is a, a beginning and warming up posture, great for strengthening your legs, stretching out your hips. Triangle pose has six vinyasas. So it goes like this. Breathing in, we step or hop the feet wide. That's one. Breathe out, turn the feet and come into the posture. Two. I'll hold for a breath here. And breathing in, three, coming back up. Breathe out, turn the feet, come into your posture on the other side. Breathe in, come back up, five. And breathe out, back to center, six. Okay, so six vinyasas. So the way you can take this into your everyday life is to move with your breath. So for instance, if you're reaching for a glass, breathe in, take the glass, breathe out, bring the glass to the counter, breathe in, lift your pitcher, breathe out, pour your water, breathe in, lift the pitcher, breathe out, place it back down, breathe in, bring the glass to your mouth. Right? So you get the idea. Reaching for the spoon, breathe in, take the spoon and stir your soup. Breathe out, right? So uh, getting in your car, same thing, reach for the handle. Breathe in, open the door, breathe out. Turn around, breathe in, sit down, breathe out, which is a great time to practice moving with the breath sitting and standing up. So if you're sitting at your desk or getting ready to sit uh, for a meal, right? Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So when we do this, when we pay attention, when we slow down, then we can pay, we can see what's going on around us. We're more connected with, you could say, the life force within us through that breathing. And we make fewer mistakes, right? So less likely that we're gonna slip if we're paying attention uh, or uh, twist our ankle. Maybe we uh, can we avoid a crack, right? So just slowing down, paying attention to your breathing, moving with the breath will create awareness grace and poise in your movements and cultivate that same um, countenance uh, in your mind. So go practice and let me know how you do and what you think. Namaste.